Buses in the high country are looking a little different as well. The West Grand School District in Kremling has been using an electric bus since 2020, and now they are getting two more. All right, our man in the mountains, Matt Renew, is in Kremling this morning. And Matt, they've been happy with their electric bus despite some of the coldest temperatures in the state. You're right, Corey and Jordan. Good morning, and it does get cold around Kremlin right now about three degrees, which is warm. A lot of the winter days will start off 20, 30 below zero and bus drivers say at those temperatures, it's hard to get diesel buses running, but their electric bus is just ready to roll right out the door. In fact, they say their electric bus here is their best in the fleet and they have two more electric buses coming. At the West Grand County School District bus barn. West side of Grand County. When Director of Transportation Bethany Aron heads out on a route, it's usually in their battery powered electric bus. I drive it about 75 miles a day. A bus that despite some of the coldest weather in Colorado. When it's up to 20 below, that's a good day. And um, it has performed extremely well. Has been rolling across the snow-covered rural roads of Grand County since 2020, and Bethany says is the best bus in their fleet. This was the first one in the state, and it has been the rock star of our fleet. With lower maintenance and operating costs, that's about half that of the diesel buses. It averages 26 cents per mile, and the diesel buses just for fuel, not including oil changes, filters, lubes, anything else, is 58 cents per mile. <laughs> And now they don't have to just take one clean school bus program because thanks to a grant from the EPA and the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment, we're transporting students. Two more electric buses are coming to Kremlin. West Grand was just awarded two uh, clean school buses. And Casey Becker with the EPA says there'll be a total of 49 electric school buses heading to nine Colorado school districts. Yeah, what we're seeing is these buses are doing great in cold weather. They um, still maintain a battery charge even when it's cold. But in Kremlin are the bus of choice. We've got two more and we're super excited. And why Bethany's so amped up to have two more electric buses heating things up in Kremlin. Fall of 2025, we should have 100% of our routes be zero emission buses. And like everything, there is a downside. Electric buses tend to have less range and so are used primarily for in-town routes and they can cost around $100,000 more than diesel buses. In fact, Kremlin says they wouldn't be able to have their first electric bus without Mountain Parks Electric helping them with that. And now these other two coming thanks to those grants, but they say they're gonna be saving a lot of money down the road with those electric buses. Summit County will also be getting four electric buses and Steamboat Springs getting three of those electric buses. Jordan and Corey, the EPA says they're also putting electric school buses in school districts around Utah, Montana, and up at the U.S. Canadian border to see how well they do in the cold. Those diesel buses, they let run for about 15 minutes to warm up. Those electric buses, they just rolled them right out the door.